However, on the ice next, their Russian world teammates, Oksana Grishuk and Yevgeny Plantov, these two couples were once the best of friends. A lot has changed over the past year, both on and off the ice. It's a little more than a year ago that these four ice dancers sought comfort and companionship in each other as they struggled with homesickness far from their native Russia. But just a year later, much has changed. And it is clear that the same common goal that brought these teams together is the one that separates them today. Their goal, to be the best ice dancers in the world. I think it's nobody like to be all the time number two. But for now, I think we must just don't think about it, what we number two, we number one. Last year, such confidence might have seemed surprising, since Angelika and Oleg appeared almost comfortable with the idea of being second to Grishuk and Platov's first. And for both teams, remaining friends was as important as competing to win. But today, it's clear that training with different coaches in different cities has taken a toll on their friendship. It's not possible to be a very good friend and uh, be a very close concurrent in the world and Olympics. Because it's like big politics, you know? Yes, <laughs> it's it's politics. like the same big politics, yeah. You talk about friends, of course, it's sad uh, when you come here, came here and, uh, you know, no friends. You should find some people, you know, you will talk with. But, uh, this is not uh, what we're looking for. We're looking for a new place to work. No longer dependent on the other team, these skaters find companionship in one another, as well as their coaches. But the distance has undoubtedly strengthened their rivalry. When Yevgeny and Oksana set out a number of competitions, Angelika and Oleg easily won gold. They had hoped to continue their winning streak at the European Championships, but Grishuk and Platov's stunning performance, which earned a total of 12 perfect scores, laid those hopes to rest and left no question as to who was number one. But despite the daunting competition, Angelika and Oleg are no longer content to stand in anyone's shadow. And both teams agree that the future cannot be told. I don't really have this feeling that anybody can beat us at Worlds, honestly. But you never know what happened because it's sport. Anything can be happen. We shook and packed off, trying to hold off the charge of the friends they used to be very close to, Grilova and Ovsyanikov. There they are trying to win their fourth consecutive World Championship. The music, a cool wind is blowing. One of the things that you want to look for in this dance is the extraordinary, difficult, intricate steps done with great speed and great security. And they receive this pair is a master of their technique. And they received six perfect sixes, Dick, for this free dance at the European Championships. Look at this lift. this is, how tight and deep those edges were. That's exactly what the judges are looking for.
they should win. They would become the first dance team to win four consecutive world titles since Justin Yanova and Bukin from 85 to 88. Look at the depth of the technique here. Really extraordinary. They have the best speed, power, control, and balance of any of the ice dancers in this championship. One thing, even though the moves are fast, there's nothing frantic about this dance. Very controlled. Wonderfully, wonderfully difficult. that they missed the music at the end will hurt them. I, I'm sure will, will prevent them from getting the row of sixes that they got at the European Championship. But you know, I've seen them skate this program many a time, and almost, almost always they have missed the end by a, a fraction of a beat. Oksana Grishuk and Yevgeny Platov of Russia Born and Pratt still to skate, and technically they do have a chance to win. Stay with it. It's on following a powerful performance by Grishuk and Platov, the three-time and reigning world champions. But look at this moment in their program. Watch as he sets her down. Her skate catches in her skirt. But it doesn't even disrupt the flow. I would be surprised if the judges didn't even notice that. Well, you have to wonder about perfect sixes. None here for technical merit. No, but look at the 5.6 from the U.S. judge and a 5.7 from the Austrian judge. Those are pretty low. The presentation, two sixes on the board, and those marks good enough to place Grishuk and Platov ahead of Krilova and Oksyanikov at the top. <laughs> 